starts this week, I think Saturday, the 23rd. Wilson is in DR this week. He's doing some family stuff, getting some work stuff done. I decided to sit this trip out because I got to do some stuff here. So I'll definitely be missing him, but it's always good to have a little time apart. <laughs> After I finish this, I'm gonna head over to Queens and check out this park that I've been looking at. Apparently they do yoga on the weekends and there's like a grilling area where you can bring your food and have a barbecue with friends. And it also has some really nice views of Manhattan over the East River. So I'm gonna go check out that today, just real quick. I've also been really wanting to get out of the city and do a hike. I didn't do any hiking this summer, which I'm super embarrassed about. <laughs> Usually I do one or two good like really nice hikes. So I'm gonna head up to New Hampshire and hike Mount Washington. Apparently it's only eight hours round trip, four showers up, four showers down, but it's really important to do it in late spring, summer, or early fall, because if you don't, then the weather can get really bad up top. Winter at Mount Washington starts like in October. So yeah, I gotta figure out a hotel to book. I usually have toast or bread with my eggs, but this morning I was just kind of feeling like a light breakfast. Always with the hot sauce though. super cool. It is not what I expected at all. <laughs> I thought there would be a lot of sculptures around and I think they're sort of in the process of making some more. It seems to be this community park where you can come and do an open barbecue, you can have a picnic, you can walk around and kind of see the beautiful sights of Manhattan across the river. It's really nice and I think it's somewhat in development. Over to the right and behind me actually, it seems like city park workers are working on these sculptures and these gardens, it's sort of interactive part of the park. It's just really peaceful here. I like it a lot. It helps that it's a beautiful day. <laughs> I was gonna come tomorrow, but it was supposed to be raining, so I decided to come on over here today. If you are interested in coming over to Socrates Sculpture Park, it is on Vernon Boulevard and 31st Avenue. It closes around 7.30 p.m., so just be aware of that. There are gates that physically will close and you won't be able to get in. But other than that, it seems really cool. I'm excited to come back sometime when it seems to be a little bit more developed, but it's really nice and peaceful right now. to the Brooklyn Mirage for a concert. Should be a good time. this hotel for Mount Washington. Whenever I book hotels, I use the hotels.com app. I'm looking for the cheapest. <laughs> well, okay, not the cheapest, but like good rating and cheap. This one is $95 a night, quality in. Good enough, I don't need anything special. Time we have without light, so I'm gonna get so I'm gonna shoot in there. Out to see. Even still, I don't know if it's gonna
about to chow down on this Walmart barbecue wrap. <laughs> See how it is. Barbecue chicken. I got two other wraps for the hike tomorrow. I got some plums, granola bars. I got cookies. I got milk. I think I have plenty of food. I accidentally bought a breakfast bowl that I can make tomorrow morning, but I forgot that the hotel that I'm in gives free breakfast. So I'll probably check out the free breakfast before I do the frozen. But yeah, I'm just going to take it easy tonight. Have a shower, maybe watch some TV pack my bag for tomorrow morning. I won't leave too early tomorrow. Probably gonna try to leave from the trail at 8 a.m. I do not anticipate this being some crazy hike. It's four miles up, four miles down. I've done a lot worse. If you wanna see some of the trails that I've hiked, you can check out the main Katahdin video or the Costa Rica video. I did some big mountains there. So this one should be like medium. Eight hours for me is not too long of a hike, it's probably probably gonna be about right. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is the cold temperatures at the top. When I get up there, it's supposed to be about 42 degrees, and with the wind chill, it's gonna feel like 36, supposedly, so that's pretty cold. So I have some pants, I have a winter jacket, and I'm gonna stuff in the bottom of my bag so when I need it, I can pull it out when I get up there. Logan International Airport coming in from Chicago. Well, I made it up here. It is pretty interesting with the train and the road. You meet a ton of people once you get to the top because a lot of people took the road up or the train, which I would too if I wasn't a hiker. <laughs> I actually contemplated taking it back down because I'm tired, but I'm going to do the hike down. It is really chilly up here and the cloud just blew over. It was clear as day when I got to the top, so you could see pretty much all around, but now it is quite cloudy 
but it adds a cool vibe to it. It's very mystical. <laughs> it's cold up here, but it's not as cold as I expected. I was thinking it was gonna be like frigid, have to put layers on, but this jacket is just fine. Maybe because I hiked up and I'm pretty warm already. I can even feel the sun coming in right now. It's absolutely beautiful up here. I'm about to head back down. It should take about four hours and I get some good Chinese food. So I'm on my way back to New York City and it is super cloudy and foggy and I'm driving through these low areas and I come upon this covered bridge. It's really cool, it looks like you can drive over it so I'm gonna go into it. <laughs> 